Hey guys, my name's Haley. Welcome back to the Disney Cupcake Channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips for first timers for Disneyland and answering some of your Disneyland questions. So let's get started. So tip number one would be to stay at a Disney resort hotel if possible. I know the prices for them aren't very good but they are really really nice hotels and they're very very close to the parks and you do get all the perks through there if you cannot stay at one of those hotels i would definitely stay at one of the ones on harbor boulevard harbor boulevard and all you have to do there is just cross the street and you're at the parks very very short walking distance but if possible i would try to do a disney resort hotel number two you only need two to three day park tickets and if you use the park hopper, you can get it done in two days. If you don't, you could definitely do it in three. It is more of a weekend type vacation. And I definitely wouldn't do a full week for Disneyland. Number three, I would definitely purchase the Max Pass system. The Max Pass system is $10 per person per day, but you get unlimited fast passes throughout the whole day. And you also get to use the Photo Pass photography which is really, really nice to have. So I would definitely use Max Pass while you're there. Number four, buy merchandise whenever you see it. Disneyland, since they're all focused on the locals, they rotate all of their merchandise so the locals keep coming back. And when you're on vacation and you're not there, you may miss it. So when you see something, definitely get it when you see it if you know that's something that you'd like to purchase. Number five, if you rope drop, any of the parks the main attractions i would try to get to as soon as possible in disneyland would be peter pan or space mountain at california adventure i would try to rope drop radiator springs racers that is always one of the highest weights throughout the day and that ride is amazing and also the incredicoaster since that just opened that's another really really great ride number six make sure to take the time to see all of the shows and parades all of the shows and parades at both disneyland and disney california adventure were amazing i would definitely make sure that you take the time to get a good seat for them ahead of time because they are definitely worth watching one thing i would like to say the whole kind of rotation type t certain times certain things happen kind of going off of that we wanted to see the mickey's magical map show in fantasyland at disneyland and that only runs friday saturday sunday which is very strange and they don't have that advertised anywhere and we weren't at Disneyland those days and we didn't know that that's how it works so we did miss out on a show there so definitely look into when different shows happen that is the only one that had a weird date from what we could see but definitely try to get a good spot for the shows because they are fantastic number seven definitely try to make time to walk through downtown Disney and check out some of the hotels I really really liked looking through the Disneyland Hotel and through Grand Californian and through the Paradise Pier Hotel. They all have really cool lobbies and you can go into them without having a room key. You just can't obviously go into the rooms or use any of their amenities but they do have great little restaurants inside or little quick service locations and they have their own special gift shops in there so I would definitely spend a evening or a morning or a non-park day, maybe just going through looking at the hotels and checking out Downtown Disney. Downtown Disney does have some great restaurants and shops and they have the Void VR experience, which I did, which was really, really fun. So you can definitely spend a nice evening in Downtown Disney as well. Number eight, when you're at Disneyland, it will feel crowded, but the wait times are very, very low. Once everyone disperses and goes in lines for rides, the wait times are not that bad at all. So it may seem crowded, but it's really not. And for number nine, the weather in California is amazing, although it is kind of weird. In the morning, it'll be cloudy and you may need a jacket or a hoodie. Then you get to like the middle, like afternoon, like middle of the daytime, and it's about like in the 80s, depending on when you're there. I know recently it was in the hundreds, but it gets super, super nice. And then in the evenings, it'll get like cloudy and dark again and you will need a jacket or hoodie so I would definitely bring one of those to your trip but the weather overall was really great. So those are some of my main tips for the Disneyland Resort. Now I'm going to be answering some of your questions that you guys asked me on Instagram and in some of my vlogs. So our first question is would you come back 
to the Disneyland Resort. Yes, I would definitely come back one day and I look forward to going back again, but I would not spend as many days there as I did for my first time. Now knowing I would probably spend two to three days in the parks. What are the best snacks for Disneyland and Disney World? For both Disneyland and Disney World, the chicken and the churros are fantastic. For Disneyland, I really enjoyed how they had more churro flavors and I also really, really like and I also really liked the beignets and the milkshakes. At Disney World, I really, really liked the Mickey waffles. I really liked how they had more icy locations. I really, really liked the ices. Which is better, Disney World or Disneyland? I recently just filmed a comparison video. I'm gonna link it down below and up above. You guys can go check that out to see my full opinion on which park's better. Do you think Pixar Pier should be themed better? I personally think that Pixar Pier should have been finished before they opened it. I just don't feel that it was done. I know there are still two more rides they need to open. The Critter Carousel and the Inside Out attraction. Bing Bong's Confectionery wasn't open. Overall the theming was very very cool. I loved all of the Pixar stuff but I wish it was done the day they said it was going to be open. They were also missing a lot of things. There was supposed to be a light animatronic on top of the Pixar Pier sign. That wasn't there. There was now a Zerg figure outside of the Poultry Palace that is now there that was not there on opening day. And I realized for any land they open they'll kind of finish their last little touches like opening day and like the day or two after. Like but it should have been done like the few days before. I feel like they rushed it a lot. And I just wish we could have seen the completed thing on opening day. How long was I at Disneyland? We did five day park tickets. What is Pixar Pier like? It was really, really cool. It was a really, like, really fun atmosphere, something that you don't see in every Disney park at all. Like I just said, it was half open and it was crowded because it was opening day and the food was just okay. With the whole allergy thing, I could not have Poultry Palace but Angry Dogs would have been good because they're just normal hot dogs. But when we went to Angry Dogs, they were out of hot dogs, which was kind of weird because that's all they serve there. And when we went to Senor Buzz Churros, those are really, really good too. But overall food was just like, okay. If, you, if you're there and you can grab a quick snack, you can definitely do so, but there are many other places throughout California Adventure to get good food. What will be in Star Wars Land? Star Wars Land is opening summer 2019 in Disneyland, and there will be a Millennium Falcon simulator type attraction, and there will be a First Order kind of dark ride attraction. How fun was Disneyland? Both Disney World and Disneyland, they're very fun parks. What was my favorite souvenir that I picked up from my recent trip? I would definitely say the food merchandise, like the popcorn buckets. I really, really liked getting the Minnie Mouse ears. That was my first pair. I really enjoyed getting the pins and collecting all of the free buttons from all of the different locations. Have I been to Disneyland Paris? Not yet, but I would like to go to all of the international parks someday. What was my favorite show? My favorite show was the Together Forever Fireworks, and that was for Pixar Fest. They were so much fun, and I definitely recommend going to see them, and they will continue showing every night at the Disneyland Park until September 3rd. How much were the pins at the Disney Studio store in Hollywood? They were anywhere from seven to ten dollars. What was your favorite ride? I can never answer this question. Um, I'm gonna list my top five from Disneyland and California Adventure kind of mixed. This is in no particular order, but I really enjoyed the Incredicoaster, Radiator Springs Racers, Guardians of the Galaxy, Indiana Jones, and I really enjoyed the variations of Big Thunder Mountain and Space Mountain compared to Disney World's. Where do you get your first visit buttons at Disney World? I'm also going to answer this for Disneyland 2. When you enter the Magic Kingdom or the Disneyland Park, you can go to the Town Hall and you can get them there or any guest service location or at any of the hotels they have them. And some of the stores do as well. And the last question, which hotel package did you use? So you can go to Disneyland.com, scroll over to Places to Stay and choose Good Neighbor Hotel Package and that is the package that we used. And you can just pick whatever one works for you. We stayed at the Spring Hill Suites. It was a little bit of a longer walk but it was a really nice hotel. So that is it for some of my tip and Q&A questions. If you guys have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. I'll be sure to answer those as soon as possible. Remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy and I will see you guys next time. Bye!